All right, folks. Hello and welcome back to another quick UE5 short tutorial. And in this tutorial today, I'm going to be showing you something of a hot fix. You know, this isn't going to fix your issue. Um, just to be clear on that, but this is this will help you continue uh, working on your project in case you're you're you know wanting to work on your project, but you know you don't have like the um you know the best hardware. You know, if it can't really handle the quality of photorealism that you're going for, then you know, you, you're really going to uh, have to look for upgrading your, your specs. But, you know, um, if you can't do that right now, then that's what this hot fix is for. You know, this is to get you to that point where you can still continue to develop your project, whatever project it is, um, even if your hardware isn't exactly up to par. So um, I guess I'll just get to the point. So <laughs> clearly you've been seeing this little flickering uh, notification on the top left. Video memory has been exhausted over X amount of, of uh, storage. So either it's either going to be in the MB or GB for you uh, over budget if you're seeing this uh, notification. Now, saying to expect extremely poor performance. And I mean, you know, if I was to, you know, simulate this now, it would just be very laggy um, and, and very slow and, and stuttery as well. And, and the reason why is because, you know, video memory has been exhausting. So I'm here to sort of show you a, a quick fix for this. Uh, again, it's a temporary fix. So I mean, you know, put emphasis on that. This will not actually fix your issue. This will just enable you to continue working on your project without this issue showing. Um, and, and really, um, it, it, it does help um, because I'll be honest, I, I didn't actually ever pay attention to this, um, <laughs> this particular setting until uh you know i was starting to see this message <laughs> so um, i'm making a video about it now if i was to exit out full screen real quick and you have something here called the scalability settings now if you go over here it should be in the top left for you right now this is ue5 so it's at the toolbar if you don't see this bar up here that means your toolbar has been disabled so to bring it back you should click on this and click on show toolbar right so if yours look like this you don't see that and then click on this little icon and click on show toolbar and it should be there now if you don't see this for whatever reason right so i believe if you're on the epic settings it does not um appear so like if you're like this see it's not there even if you were to like you know disable the toolbar and then bring it back still not there then the other way to bring it up because if you go to looking over here you're not going to find it but if you go to here the top right um settings and you click on something called um an engine scalability settings then that'll bring up this window. Now, here's the thing. If you're on Epic, you still won't see it here. But, you know, as long as you have it here, you're good to go. Now, it's up to you to decide how low of a quality you want to go to. Like, so for some of you, you're just going to be like, yo, I'm chilling uh, with it at low, you know, because this is mainly for like, I mean, think about it. You can still set up the textures and the game design and, and all the coding, um, even in this level of, of, of graphics. Um, the point isn't to make it look good for you in development stages. You're just trying to make sure that the project itself looks good. So like this, you know, I have actually, you know, I don't need to go into all of my 4K textures or my 2K textures and change them to like 1 or 2K or so on and so forth. Um, this is just, you know, for development stages, just so that, you know, it's easier to handle my hardware. That's that's what this setting um, enables me to to do now. Again, you know, you could go up to medium, high, uh, whichever you want. Just, you know, this is how you can get rid of that little message. Now, I, I me personally, I just go straight to low. You know, I'm just like, yeah, it gets the points across, you know. <laughs> it might look bad, um, but, you know, it, it definitely uh, gets the point across, which is, you know, just so that I can continue working on my project without um, having to sort of, um, what's the word? Uh, stutter across the, the, the map because literally, um, when I'm using like cinematics uh, um, uh, quality settings or like epic quality settings, then it's just very uh, stuttery and uh, very laggy. Um, and it's not in reference to um, poor, poor optimization because my stuff is highly optimized. The problem is that my hardware just simply can't keep up. <laughs> and so this enables me to have it. Um, whereas, you know, when I package the project, then it will be, you know, all fine. But, you know, for development stages, this is what you want to uh, work on. Um, also, Actually, you know, I take back my previous statement about my project being fully optimized. I don't ever want people to get in the habit of saying that, you know, you might think your uh, project is properly optimized, but nine times out of 10, there's still some more optimization work you can do. You just got to, you know, research that and find out more about it. Um, so, yeah, don't ever say that. Uh, that's why I, you know, retracted that statement because, you know, that's just... 
you know, nine times out of 10, uh, when people would be like, you know, my project is fully optimized, but I just can't handle it. And then it's probably not, you know, fully optimized. And that even applies to me right now. So, you know, it's not a bad thing. It's just that, you know, at the current uh, level of how I know I want my game to look, I can't really think of another way to, you know, minimize um, the quality of certain things. Um, and I'm not going to, I mean, this is a fine, uh, quick fix. I mean, when, when I go to, when I go to like package it, I could just increase the scalability and be good to go. Um, but yeah, folks, so that's really all I have for you today in this video. Again, this is a short one, you know, as, as intended, but, um, yeah, this, I just really ran into this uh, issue, uh, recently and I was like, oh, well, you know what, since I have a fix, I'll show people uh, how to do it. So, you know, if you're ever dealing with photorealism, uh, now if you're dealing with like stylized stuff, you should be fine. I mean, again, unless your hardware just can't handle it, then, you know, now you know how to fix it. Um, again, remember it's a temporary hot fix. It's not an actual, it's not going to fix the issue. It just fixes it um, enough ways you can still maneuver inside of your project and still uh, make changes in, in, in develop your, your project, whether it be game, film, render, et cetera. Um, with that said, folks, I'll leave you to your UE5 endeavors and best of luck because it is always difficult out here when you don't know what you're doing, especially when you're running into issues um, that are new. So 